Sri Rangba Gajlau Konrad K Sangma ha ke program Gabala Pelong Jong ke Mekaraya Grassroots Music Project MGMP Season 2 Gabala Pelong ha Mariet Shillong la penkuburom bat ai ke jingi thu ya ki riu don sap ha ke put ke tem ki bala palat ya ke khat san snap ha ke program la don lang unong sha khat sngo bahau bakerpang u aktor ne bollywood star bat u bru u baju ya jan bat kisamla u john abraham ha bakren ha ke ne ke jing penkuburom u menteri rang ba la penken mau biang ya ki klip mat ki por bo udang sngo tenat ban yo por bha ban pelut ha ke put ke tem Pat kita kisni jong kejing syirham kila sadu apa kejing mud berkat pat kita balak tak bahaya kejing im jong o. Kena nak tu also put her books in the memento that were presented to the dignitaries. So her book on the recent Kasi lullaby that she had released at the modern festival is also there in the token. It was not the officials or the politicians anymore. It was what is good for the youth of our state, this government will do. And that is why, if you've noticed in the last five to six years, the policies we created, the programs that we made were youth-centric. I remember as a youth, I was 21 years old. I just finished my undergrad from University of Pennsylvania. I thought I'd come back to my state, to my country, because my father told me, you can go and study in the US, but you better come back. My only condition is you will come back and you will give back whatever you have learned to our people, is what his condition was. I still remember. And I came back, and I was so excited to start my own business, and I was working and working and working, and I just looked around everywhere, and there was nobody to help me. There was nobody to even guide me. There was no schemes of the government. There was nothing that would motivate me to actually start my own business. There was no enterprising ecosystem or an entrepreneurship ecosystem existing in our state and the country also. To be among the top 10 states in the country, it cannot happen with Conrad Sangma or DP Walang alone. It can only happen if the state, if the people, and especially the youth, become part of this goal, of this objective, of this mission that we have. And that is why, friends, youth is at the center of the policies that we make. Uh, and, uh, you know, God has given me this opportunity to serve the state, to serve the people, and to be able to make this small but uh, maybe significant difference in the lives of the musicians of our state and so we are very happy and uh, maybe you can say the grassroots uh, program that we are having is maybe one of the most uh, satisfying programs for me because I really see and uh, feel the impact that it has and to be able to make a difference in the lives of our young musicians and the youth in general uh, really gives me a great sense of uh, of satisfaction, I must say. Uh, second, uh, of course, the music scene is very different today from what it was during our times. And I still remember, you know, trying to figure out the notes of, you know, some lead 
that had to be played once again and again and again and you know we all to save the battery we used to rewind it with pencil and all that stuff so i'm sure you guys remember some of you will remember those moments and today you have youtube you know where you can just learn the the keys the the, the solos which we used to struggle to just even get a note of what it was and of course we didn't know what scales were we just used to play as per uh, whatever we could understand so that the landscape has changed there's a lot of technology now and a lot of opportunity there and uh, and really i would want our musicians to now start engaging at that level with the use of technology with the use of our uh, different tools uh, and taking music to a new level and therefore it's a great time to be a musician you have access to a lot of support from the government you have a lot of access of technology today that can help you really uh, you know improve uh, but yes there are some gaps and uh, i would be happy to listen to some of you uh, if not today then you can always write to me i am a very accessible person i can tell you and you can always share your ideas and thoughts on how maybe we could improve this particular program and make it even better citizen first is our motto we believe that our citizens need to be connected with government for faster and efficient service delivery i am happy to announce that we are coming up with a dedicated cm helpline call center 